Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida-based firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds, and today we're gonna take a look at how thermal imaging cameras work, especially on drones, and how they help aid firefighters, first responders, and police officers. Stay tuned. Not long ago, the next generation of firefighting began. Drones, especially with its thermal imaging technology. Drones are now being used worldwide by firefighters, first responders, and police officers to support emergency response to structure fires, wildfires, and search and rescue missions. Let's take a look at some of the basics. The first is that the primary source of infrared radiation is heat. Heat doesn't have to be hot and even things we think of as cold emit infrared. Also, all matter emits electromagnetic radiation. The warmer the object, the more radiation it will emit. The emitted thermal energy is also known as the object's heat signature. What does this mean? Thermal imaging can make the invisible visible. This technology can be used undercover in darkness, find a patch of land that's about to go up in flames or pinpoint temperature differences between objects. Infrared cameras allow us to see thermal energy in action. Some objects produce heat, some objects reflect heat, and some objects absorb heat. Thermal cameras measure the temperature of a surface by assessing the intensity of the infrared signal that reaches the camera. When used properly, this method is highly precise. Let's take a look at how surface characteristics impact thermal measurements. When you measure an object's temperature remotely using an infrared sensor, the heat signature you see coming back is indicative of that object's surface temperature. Certain materials have characteristics that make their true surface material harder to gauge. Why is that? It's often because different surfaces radiate heat with different levels of efficiency. It's important to note that shiny or highly polished metallic surfaces are highly reflective. Just as a mirror reflects visible light, it also reflects thermal radiation. Highly reflective surfaces can lead to misinterpreting readings on your thermal camera. Why can this be a problem? The thermal imaging camera can detect infrared energy on these surfaces that are reflecting from nearby sources rather than what they are actually radiating. It's not just the properties of the object you are measuring that influence the accuracy of an infrared camera. There's atmospheric factors that include the density of the air and the humidity. Thermal energy is lost as radiation travels between the object in question and the camera. The atmosphere also absorbs and emits infrared radiation. Warm air and high humidity, like I have here in my home, South Florida, can reduce the transmission of infrared energy between the object and the camera. Your thermal measurements will appear colder than the actual surface temperature. The effect of the atmosphere on the measurement accuracy increases with the distance between the drone and the object. So basically, the further you are away from the object, the less accurate the thermal readings will be. Also, the closer you fly, the more accurate your thermal measurements will be. Strong wind like we have here in Florida, dust, rain, snow, any of these can reduce the transmission of infrared radiation and impact those measurements. 
Using thermal cameras during firefighting operations is one of the best tools we have when we're interior. It should be no different with a drone. They provide rapid intelligence when you need it the most. Getting that accurate reading from your thermal camera on your drone isn't always easy. The atmosphere you're flying in, the distance from the drone to the object, these can all affect the thermal readings on the camera. So as we know, thermal cameras work by detecting infrared radiation rather than visible light. A thermal camera captures that infrared energy and processes the data to create an image that depicts a scene and a temperature and the objects within it. Without getting too technical, thermal cameras usually consist of the lens, the thermal sensor, and the internal electronics that process the actual image. The lens focuses on infrared energy onto the sensor and the higher the number of pixels in the sensor, the more detailed that picture is going to be. There's gonna be a few important elements that impact that thermal camera's performance. The first thing that can affect a camera's performance is range. We use range in the context of thermal imaging and it relates to the spectrum of temperature the camera is able to recognize and measure. Some of the thermal cameras on these drones have different range settings. For example, a camera can have a temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 150 degrees Celsius on the lower end, and then it can have an accuracy range from minus 40 degrees Celsius all the way to 550 degrees Celsius. This can be adjusted, obviously, on the drone. The second thing that affects a camera's performance is thermal sensitivity. Thermal sensitivity is referred to as the noise. It can also be referred to as the smallest temperature difference the camera allows you to actually see. Another thing that affects the camera's performance is the field of view. Field of view is basically on how much of a scene a lens can see. A wide angle lens is gonna offer you more useful thermal images when you're close to the subject. Image resolution is another thing that affects the camera's performance. The same with a regular camera, a thermal camera on a drone has a thermal sensor that is determined by the number of pixels the sensor has. Basically, the more pixels, the better image resolution you will have. Spectral band is another thing that affects performance. Basically, this is determined by the range of wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum that the camera's sensor can detect. Let's talk about some of the thermal imaging tools that we have accessible to us as firefighters. Basically, there's several software tools that we can use to gather that information and data. We have our on-screen display features, which can be our blending, our color palettes, and our isotherms, which processes the data in the field and it can be tailored to different situations and scenarios as needed. Let's get into one of my favorite things on the thermal imaging camera, which is our color palettes. Basically every pixel captured by a thermal camera is given an individual temperature reading. So to build that accurate image, it processes by assigning each temperature point a specific color. Some of these color palettes are actually designed to pay attention to body heat, such as your black hot color palette. Others, such as your rainbow color palette, use a full spectrum of color to highlight small temperature differences. So you have a wide range of options available to you as the user. The best color palettes used for firefighting is gonna be for different scenarios or situation. It's gonna be up to the user. I like the color palettes that are focused on displaying a wide contrast, and that's usually preferred. What are isotherms? Isotherms are basically a setting that allows the drone operator to highlight a certain temperature range and make them stand out in real time. They're best deployed when you want to focus on specific temperature bands. So what are the benefits of using thermal camera drones? Firefighters have been using thermal cameras for interior operations since about the mid-1990s. 
Today, the drones with the RGB cameras provide firefighters with a versatile and easy to deploy tool that improves your situational awareness in and around the fire ground. Thermal cameras on the drone provide us with that greater visibility and a more rounded view of the fire ground. The technology on the drones can give us invisible views of hotspots. Safety and operations on the fire ground can be enhanced. Additional data can be gathered and given to the command post, and it can be more effective in allocating the resources to where they're needed the most. As we know in firefighting, the situations can change in an instant. The thermal imaging cameras can be used to support operations before, during, and after, as well as dealing with a hazmat scene or a search and rescue mission. These thermal imaging cameras on the drone help firefighters see exactly where's the fire, where's the fire spreading, are there any possible accelerators, we can see the integrity of the structure, and the potential for any secondary fires, and see firefighting operations and where our members are on the ground. Thermal cameras on drones are now used worldwide by firefighters and first responders for search and rescue missions. The cameras on these drones are an excellent tool for supporting this type of operation. Thermal imaging cameras are now used worldwide for hazmat situations and scenarios. The thermal imaging can be used to assess the temperature of a sensitive chemical storage tank and to see if it has a possible leak. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds reviewing how thermal cameras actually work and some of the added benefits when used on a drone. As a firefighter, we're not gonna abandon our normal techniques and procedures, but when used correctly, a thermal camera on a drone can give us that much needed valuable information and intel. Anytime we're fighting a structure fire, doing a hazmat situation or a search and rescue mission, this information and intel helps keep firefighters safe and enhance operations. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike, happy flying, stay safe, have a nice day.